Okay, today I got probably my favorite fish to eat. These are white perch. And we're gonna show you guys a neat way to take these uh, spiny fins of them so that you can just pan fry the whole fish uh, without many bones. Um, you can fillet them. These ones would have been big enough to fillet, but uh, I really like pan frying them, get the skin really crispy. So I'm gonna show you how I do that. So the first thing I did was take all the, uh, the, the guts out, took the head off and I cut off the uh, pectoral fins on the side. Then I scaled them all. Okay, so they're all scaled, they're all cleaned. So what you're gonna do is basically take one of these perch and take a nice sharp knife. I like these little four inch blades for this. And this technique is the same one I use for yellow perch. You can do the same thing with yellow perch. Yellow perch are great eating fish too. So if you get some, you know, six to eight inch yellow perch that aren't really big enough to fill it, this is a neat little technique that you can use too. So basically you're gonna take your knife, you're gonna start at the back end of the dorsal fin, okay? And go right up one side, right along that fin. Then you're gonna go up the other side, starting at the back and right up the side. It's a little bit easier with yellow perch, the white perch, the spines kind of go in a little bit deeper. But anyway, so now I've cut up both sides. Now I'm just gonna grab the end of it. Now you can use pliers. I usually just kind of pinch it with the knife and that should just pull right out. And there you go, there's all the bones and the spine. So if you were to fry this fish with this spine in it, you'd have to pick out all those little bones. Some people don't like that. Um, so there you go. Now that's nice and clean. Now the only bone in there right now is a rib cage. I'm going to do the same thing to this little fin on the bottom here. Okay. So same up one side and up the other. Now this one, the, there's a bone there that digs a little deeper. So you might have to pull a little harder. And there it is. So now that perch is ready to go in the pan. Okay, we've got my uh, sunflower oil, nice and hot in the pan. I'm gonna start to add my fish. All right, and there you have it. Finished product, fried white perch. So before these hit the pan, I uh, made sure to dry them off with some paper towel, get the skin nice and dry, then salt, pepper, and some garlic powder, uh, and then a light dusting of cornstarch just to keep that skin nice and dry so it gets crispy in the pan. Uh, and now these should just peel right off the bone. And there you have it. I can actually just probably peel this uh, spine out right here. You have, now the only bones in there are a few rib cage pieces that I mis missed when I uh, ripped that out. There you have it. I would hit that with a little hot sauce or a little lemon. You don't need much to it. They taste great on their own. So uh, yeah, try that technique out, try out some white perch and enjoy.